Consider a simply supported beam AB subjected to two loads P of same magnitude at points C and D. The Maxwell's reciprocal theorem states that the deflection produced at C by a load applied at D is equal to the deflection produced at D by the same load applied at C. That means if you apply a force P at this point C, this D will also deflect. That deflection will be equal to the deflection of this point C due to this load P. Due to these two loads, the beam will deflect in this manner. So load will transfer here. Now this deflection X1 consists of deflection of C because of this load plus deflection of C because of this load. Similarly, X2 is the deflection because of these two forces at point D. We assume deflection is very small within elastic limit. In such case, deflection is a linear function of applied load and thus principle of superposition holds good. That means total deflection will be same irrespective of the sequence at which loads are applied. Now consider this beam AB where this load is applied first. So let's take load at C applied first. So at this point load is applied first. Because of this load AB will deflect in this manner. So C will deflect by an amount X11. Here I am writing 1. This point I have taken as point 1 and this load as load 1. So X11 is deflection of point 1 because of load 1. Now similarly this point is 2. So this is deflection of point 2. Deflection of point 2 because of load 1. Because of this P, D is also deflected by an amount X21. Now in this case work done by this load P will be Work done by load at C will be half P into X11. This is load into deflection. Force into deflection is the work done. But now this force is applied gradually. Th that means it is increased from 0 to P gradually. Therefore, I have taken half of P. So half P into X11. Next, apply P at this position. So now D is here. So at this position, another force P of same magnitude applied. Because of that, this P, this beam will further deflect. Now this deflection is the deflection of this point because of this load. So this is point 2 and this is load 2. So this deflection I have represented as X22. Now this point further deflected from this point to this point. So this deflection I have represented deflection of point 1 because of load 2, X12. Now what are the works done here? First. This load is applied gradually, therefore work done because of this force is force into this deflection, half of that, so half P into X22, this is the work done of this force at this point. Now because of this force, this also this point is also deflecting, at this point this force is already applied before, so this total force is there, P, so this P is moving from this point to this point, therefore another work is done. That work is work done by load at C. That work is done by this P which is applied at C. So this is equal to P X12. So this X12 is the deflection. Now P is total load already applied here. So this total load, that's why it is not gradually applied load. Already this load is applied before. That's why this work done is P into X12. So total work done will be sum of these three. So add these three terms. Now take case 2. Same beam. Now load at D applied first. So we will apply load at D first. So because of this P will move from this beam will deflect in this manner. So this load will deflect from D to this position. So this deflection point 2. This deflection is deflection of point 2 because of second force x22. So now work done you can calculate by load at D. Now this P is again applied gradually. That's why we have taken half P into deflection, load into deflection. That is the work done at D. Now apply another force P at point C at this point. Because of this load it will further deflect. So this is the new position of this AB. Now this deflection you can take x 
deflection of point 1 because of load 1 x11 1 and this is point deflection of point 2 because load 1 so this will be x21 so point 2 because of force 1 now work done in these two in this case is first work done because of load at c so at this point p is applied gradually therefore half p into deflection is x11 and at this point this p was already there so this p is moving from this point to this point so that work will be p into x21 so this force total force into this deflection so this is the total work done that is these three work done add this in second case total work is equal to half p x22 uh, in this way you will get this total work according to principle of superposition this two work done that is irrespective of the applied sequence of applied loads both work should be equal that's why the work done that means when load it at c is applied first this is the total work done when load at d applied first this is the total work done these two should be same so when you equate this you can see that half p x11 here also half p x11 this two will get cancelled half p x22 half p x22 this two will get cancelled so what you will get is p x12 this term is equal to p x21 now both p are same so this p will also get cancelled so finally you will get x12 is equal to x21 deflection of point 1 because of load at 2 is equal to deflection of point 2 because of load at 1 remember that loads are same in both cases p are p is same for both the cases so this is maxwell's reciprocal theorem thank you for watching this video